This is laburnum flower from the front. It belongs to the pea family. This is from the side, same flower. And some of the flowers have been pollinated and have begun growing pods uh, with peas in it. The flowers are born in bunches or clusters like so. This bunch can be up to 50 centimeters long if you follow the flower stalk all the way up to the base of the shoot. And this tree is unmistakable with these hanging fruit bunches off it. It's very pretty. I like it. Leaves are also easily recognizable. Compound leaves with three leaflets looking like so. If you look at it real close, they are also fuzzy. There you have it. The pods, after all, this is some last year's pods are gonna be this long when they are dry with seeds in them. Here is some of last year's remnants. Don't let your kids play with the flowers and the, the seeds are very poisonous. Uh, and uh, farmers don't like this tree either. If these seeds get mixed into animal feed, that's uh, not a happy story. This tree, other than good looking and poisonous, is native to the south of Europe. But it's planted sometimes in North America for ornamental purposes or wherever you are, you might find one in your park or street. It's a good looking tree, just don't eat any part of it. The flower clusters grow on dwarf shoots on the twigs. This would be a dwarf shoot. And these dwar dwarf shoots have uh, flower buds and leaf buds. So you have both features on them. Here's another dwarf shoot and another one and another one. The terminal bud on the twigs, okay, this one is broken off. It could be a mixed bud, uh, like uh, growing flowers and leaves, or sometimes it just grows leaves, let's see. And here, this is mixed bud there at the end of that twig. These trees are the biggest tree trees I have seen anywhere around. These trees are about six or so meters in height. There just to take in the full tree and old bark looks like this it's got very few very few uh, cracks or fissures on it just like so and uh, it's got these big big uh, uh, bumps on it as you can see these are old old lenticels from the from the bark when it was young so Good looking tree, just don't eat any of the components.